one more. <laughs> All right, go. Um, hey, everyone. This is the Dear Jane series. If you are not aware of it, I am commissioned to do these for my dear friend Jane. She is a traveling speech pathologist, and she is wonderful. Um, we used to work together at youth homes, um, so um, we've been very candid with ourselves and our lives um, because we've seen some great shit together and some awful shit together. Um, and we've also <laughs> spent time together in lots of the places that she has been, um, mainly out in Massachusetts. Um, and so that being said, we do these short 15 to 20 um, minute yoga flows. So you can squeeze in some yoga time wherever you need it. So it is the one thing out of COVID that I feel like I really love doing and um, uh, it's given me some peace of mind and told me to stay on my practice um, outside the studio space. Although this is a studio space too. Um, this is Lumber Tree Y'all in Billings, Montana. It's a really beautiful space. Always encouraging folks to check it out um, when and if you can, if you're out in the area. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and do some yoga. Uh, Jane, I love you. Um, let's come down and onto our backs. Pull your knees up close into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug to start off. Pull down through your low belly. Let the back of the skull come down to the earth. And then go ahead and slowly extend your legs all the way down to the end of the mat. Let the toes flop out to the side. Arms can either come up overhead. You can take them down to your side. You can take one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Just figure out what feels best for you today. You can always use your elbows and your forearms, or forearms, your triceps to kind of pop your heart and chest up and roll your shoulder blades underneath you. And then just allow yourself to breathe. So nice deep inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Again, big inhale through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Two more big breaths. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Always running up our practice from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe, just recognizing an energy that's bigger than us, that we're so collectively a part of. We give gratitude to this earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. We have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. We give gratitude to the indigenous people of the lands that we're laying upon, that we enjoy the Northern Cheyenne and the Crow, the Salish, the Blackfoot, the Lakota and the Sioux tribes, and always reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. Like that's the awkward energy. gratitude for this practice of yoga because it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good and encourages us to lean into action that um, reminds people of just that that we're kind and honest generous and just we give gratitude to black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice in the space of ahimsa also known as loving action gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions, holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done, or to build a peaceful, loving, and liberated world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places, you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, you can draw them into your mind's eye. Take a nice deep inhale and bring them all the way down into your heart center. And on your exhale, send them one. Go ahead and start to bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. You can point and flex through your feet. You maybe do some rolls through your ankles. Just opening up and releasing any tension that you might be holding on one side or the other. 
Flex your toes up towards your face. Take a nice long body stretch. Swing your right leg out. So the right hand side of the mat. Fix your glute as you swing your left leg out. Just stack your left ankle over the right leg and then take your left wrist into your right thumb and index finger and pull yourself into a little banana shape on the side of your mat. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly release. Let your leg swing back to your center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Left leg swings out. Lift and set down through your left cheek. Right foot swings over. Pull yourself over to that opposite side. Big inhale here. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale. Slowly release. Bring your right foot back to your center, left foot back to the center. Pull your heels up towards your glutes, lift up through your hips and tuck your tailbone underneath you. Just kind of jut it out, take your hands down to the sides, raise the back sides of your heels and then lift and settle. So small pulses here for eight, seven, try not to squeeze the outside of your hips for six, for five, for four, for three, last two, hold at the top on one and then lift. Go ahead and take your shoulders underneath you, come up onto the balls of your feet and keep lifting. Chin is tucked in towards your chest and then interlock your fingers and pull down through your fists. Big inhale. Exhale. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. And then exhale. One more time. Big inhale. And then exhale. Slowly lower your low back all the way down to the earth. Take the soles of the feet high to the sky. If this is too much on your fists and your wrists, just go ahead and release them from out and from underneath you. Flex your toes back and towards your face. Big inhale. Check in with anything that you're like holding up into your chest. Any tingling sensations that are happening, just let that happen. Big inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, you can slowly kind of roll yourself off of your wrists if they're there. Hands are down to your sides, little pulses. So reverse crunches, pulse the soles of the feet up to the sky for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then go ahead and let that left heel drop down to the earth and walk your hands up the back side of your right thigh, right calf. Aim your chin towards your shin and then squat by your legs. Lift, aim the chin towards the shin, and then slowly move through it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands back behind your knees, rock and roll on your spine, and then bring yourself all the way up to stand. Top of the mat, ground down and plant through your feet, inhale and side. Exhale, back down and over the tops of the thighs. Engage your low belly, inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, palms plant, step your feet back into plank. Press back through the heels, shift it forward. Lower and hover, inhale, lift. Breathe deep into the base of the belly. Roll over the toes and send your hips back in high down dog. Tiptoe your feet back up to meet your hands. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. Hold yourself a little bit more over the tops of the hips. You did the first time. Pull in on your low belly. Keep lifting your hips to the sky. You can ground down to the feet, but try not to press back through the knees, so to say. But think about firing up through your legs, wrapping your muscles around your bones. Big inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, sweep yourself high to the sky. Exhale, 10 the arms. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, let down and over. Inhale. Exhale, palms plant, set your feet back into your plank. Big inhale, shift back and shift forward. Lower and lift again, big inhale. Exhale, roll over the big toes simultaneously, send the hips back and high. Tiptoe your feet again, press into your palms. Take your feet up behind your hands, inhale. 
Hands to shins, exhale, hold, and then inhale, sweep, arms high. Sit yourself right down into a chair pose. Identify your right arm from your left arm. Sweep it underneath, you're sitting low. You're gonna lift through the heart and the chest and come onto the ball of your right foot and take your right foot up and over and tuck it back behind, coming into your eagle posture. If you fall out, all good. You just get back into it. Take a nice soft gaze out of the floor about four feet in front of you as you keep sitting down. Holding here. Exhale. Lift through the heart and the chest. Exhale, sit it down. Squeeze the joints together one more time. And then ground down. Inhale, arms lift. Identify left arm from right arm. Sweep it under. Hands come into prayer. Take yourself back into your seat. Lift through your heart and chest. Big inhale. Come onto the ball of your left foot. Pick the left leg up and over. Take left foot back behind your right calf. Squeeze palms, elbows, wrists, knees. Nice soft gaze of the floor in front of you. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, release. Step your foot down, inhale, arms high. Exhale, dive down and over the tops of your thighs. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, palms plant. Step your feet back into your plank. Step back or shift back. Shift forward, lower hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll over the feet. Right leg high to the sky. Spot your right thumb, step your right foot up to meet your right hand. Left toes hop out and over. Drop down to your back left knee. Inhale, low crescent lunge. Exhale. Palms come down, toes tuck, step your right foot back to meet your left, lower and lift. Roll over, left leg high, spot your left thumb, step your left foot up to meet your left hand, right toes hop out and up and over. Drop down to your right knee, toes and tuck, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, palms empty down to the mat. Pick up your back right knee, step your left foot back to meet your right, Take your flow, press it back, shift it forward, lower and upper hand, lift. Drop down to the knees. Send your hips all the way back and into your child's pose. Call your fingertips out in front of you. Big inhale here. Exhale. Take your left hand beyond your face. Right hand comes high to the sky. Spread your needle through. You can always put a bend in your left elbow and just lay your right pencil across your left wrist. One more time, big inhale. And slowly release. Shift back. Same thing, right hand beyond, left hand high. Sweep down and through. Put a bend in your right elbow. Exhale. Soften. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Release. Take your hand all the way back. Release. Sweep it half. And then walk your hands all the way back. Come down and onto your seat. Take your legs out in front of you. Move your seat back behind you. Arms come high to the sky. Exhale. Leg down and over. Engage your low belly. Pull it up and in. Keep pulling the crown of the head toward the top of the feet. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale slowly. Tuck your hands up your shins. Scoot your seat forward. Lower all the way down to your back. Give yourself a nice big squeeze. Back of the skull comes down. Soles of the feet lift. Take your legs wide. You could hang out at the, on the wall here for the end if you want to. You can always put yourself up against a wall, back of your seat up against a wall, and just kind of hang out here so you can slowly start to kind of massage out. Just by weight of your legs, kind of dropping down through your hips. You don't have to use any big pressure here. The weight of your legs will be just fine. It's nicer against the wall because then you have more support. And then pull your knees in, or you can stay there, or you have the option of just taking yourself all the way down and into your Shavasana. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Nice deep in. 
inhale through the nose and exhale. Kalicho Lake with David White. In this high place, it is as simple as this. Leave everything you know behind. Step toward the cold surface. Say the old prayer of breath, love, and open both arms. Those who come with empty hands will stare into the lake astonished. There in the cold light, reflecting the pure snow, the true shape of your own face. So I hope folks this week take some time, right, to remind yourself, right, to love yourself, to see yourself in your truest, purest form, which is a balance of all things. Be accepting, right? Be in the moment and know that there is opportunity for change as well, right? Don't just sit and stay. Stagnant water makes us sick, I like to say, right? So, and most water in lakes is not stagnant. It's ever flowing, right? So be appreciative for the changes. Um, receive them as they come. The ones that don't feel right, let them go back out into the flow. Thanks so much, y'all. Hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the day, and um, I will see you all on the flip side. All right. Oh, and when you do leave your mats, be sure to go in peace, and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, everybody.